59 a.m. and if you know us by now you know that we're not normally up that early out and about so guess what we're doing today. Today's the day we are going to close on the RV park and we are pretty excited right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we had lots of complications all the way up to yesterday afternoon where like if we don't have this go and we're like oh and then it was like an operating agreement for our LLC and then they message us back and they're like oh never mind they said we could proceed on without it and we were like hallelujah okay because we were about to ask a lawyer friend hey can you do us an operating agreement we'll pay you <laughs> real quick like now um anyway so we're going to do it gonna go over there and then we're gonna meet my parents at the RV park to show them the RV park so it should be awesome to get this finally secured
All right, it is another day and we have just moved from Lake Conroe to Snook, Texas to our new RV park. We wanna do a little bit of cleanup and get things fixed up a little bit, make sure everything's nice for guests and then we will open it up to the public. There is Ryan testing every spot to see how we fit in there because we're probably about the biggest RV that would come through. And so we figure we would do that before we get set up. Uh, today, uh, I have hired the boys and we are going to do some cleanup today. Um, and, uh, the previous owners of the park um, were not able to come and clean up a lot of their things. So uh, we've got a lot of cleanup to do. Uh, also, in addition to that demolition, uh, you know, we're going to have to take up some tile and flooring and stuff like that, possibly some walls. So anyway, we got this dumpster right there, that roll off. Uh, that's going to help us, um, you know, We'll probably fill that up actually with everything we got out here uh, another thing that we are going to do is uh there's a ton of metal around here so i'm gonna uh borrow one of my dad's trailers and we'll haul a bunch of this metal off and uh, we can turn that in for scrap so the dock that was in the pond is going to go um to scrap metal uh there's lots of things in the uh, behind those buildings back there there is um lots of different metal things so anyway i we'll have to haul all that off uh kristen is busy um getting everything ready uh she's dreaming about what she's going to do to those buildings right there once we get a good design then we'll be ready to go uh we'll know what we're exactly what we're doing we'll do some demo and start working on it and getting them ready and freshened up touched up paint tile flooring um the the works all right there it is, about a, maybe a quarter of the way full. So uh, we'll, we'll have a lot more stuff to put in there. I'll show you in here. There's metal, metal, metal shelves, bunch of iron there. And I mowed a little bit of this yesterday, but they left this lawnmower for us, which is awesome. Um, so we'll just keep that puppy going. And uh, this grass got super tall. I, I don't know if you can see that, but it's probably about waist high right there. Just a bunch of stuff that we, a lot of this is metal actually. So we'll be able to get a little bit of cash for that, but Got a lot of cleaning up to do. Well, it's always a good day when you can uh, hook a chain up to your truck and pull pull on something. So that was uh, me and the boys are out here having fun. Uh, we had to pull this um, dock out of the lake. We're gonna uh, take it out because it seemed uh, unsafe. So uh, anyway, we're trying to make our park as safe as we can. Okay, now that we got this thing up on dry land here, the boys are dip disassembling all the rails, the outside rails. 
and all the sections, we're gonna take this thing completely apart, section by section. We're gonna have this, these, a couple of giant tubes that this thing was floating on. That'll be interesting. We have a big load of they're, metal to take. Yep. They're aluminum tubes, so they shouldn't be extremely heavy, but they'll still be pretty heavy. They're probably about 16 feet long. Good job, boys. I did my part pulling this thing out of here. <laughs> All right, there we go. We got a pretty good lick on it. Uh, got almost all the rails. Those rails we can't get off because we got to get the tubes out, but there's all the rails. And one of the platforms is gone. So got to uh, we're going to decide to take a break for breakfast and then we'll come out and finish it up. What are you doing? Bringing trash to the dumpster? Yeah. Okay, come on. Good job. Just throw it back there somewhere. There you go. Good job. Wait, did y'all bring it to the dump? No, they were way too heavy. I've been helping. No, really. Good job, girls. Treasure River and Bravely. Y'all are good helpers. Yes. We chunk, chunk, chunk those thingies. Oh uh, no, we'll chunk some more stuff in a little bit. We were in College Station looking for siding because we're doing a lot of construction right now and we got a call saying our flooring was in so we went and picked it up and wow our van is sagging from putting that on there in the back so hopefully it's okay now we're having to put all the stuff out the back and other places so very interesting the kids were kind of freaking it was pretty funny putting the flooring in wow okay where are we gonna put that stroller <laughs> um i don't know all right that'll work
This box is broken. Okay, what are you doing? Plumbing. <laughs> Plumbing what? The washing machines. Yep, we got three washing machines going in. Coin operated. Yes. So, so I had the boys over here helping me, but uh, I don't think they're too inter interested in plumbing. <laughs> they didn't hang around too long. <laughs> That's funny. So, anyway, I got, I'm about to put this one in. Heat trap on, pipe up. Here's my box. So I almost got one ready. That's just the drains, and I got to put, pipe the water to it. Cool. But good thing I know how to do this because it takes time. Yep. Saving money. And saves money. That's yep. what I Y'all, these big kids are making so much money. Right? Uh -huh. I mean, I think y'all filled up probably 80% of the stuff that's in this dumpster. You think? Probably. Maybe more. Oh, yeah. We filled most of it. That is crazy. Like, they have done so much amazing cleanup around here of the construction zone. Racking in the money, money.